why do we need to uh, reuse the test artifacts? The first thing, the most obvious thing, is gonna help you to create all the test cases faster because you're gonna reuse the another test case to create a new test case. The second thing is gonna be you just need to not to maintain that much of test case if you are reusing the old test case. So when anything happen, all you need to do is just uh, to maintain it at one point in in your project and maybe it's yeah and, and surely it's gonna help you to gradually increase the performance of the tool if you use all the um all the reusing of the test artifact correctly uh the first thing i want to tell you about is if you're if you guys get familiar with the test automation field you might have know about the term of the test uh, of the page object model uh, before right uh, and basically Catalan is built upon this model but uh, there's maybe another you know because Catalan has been out there on the market for like five years already so there's a lot of misuse of this practice inside Catalan studio so if you might have know about Catalan studio so there's the part we call the custom keyword. And there's a lot of people that, uh, you know, apply the pay object model inside the custom keyword. And so that you, you're gonna build the packet and then you're gonna store the, uh, you know, based on the page inside the custom keyword and, you know, everything you're gonna store under the keywords level. So what's advantage of this approaching so it's gonna be programmatically easy to understand if you are the programmer or if you are some kind of senior QA engineer and it's gonna strictly follow the pay object model uh, if, if you go in, if you come into Kalon studio from another framework using selenium but there's a lot of disadvantages so it's gonna be hard for the newcomer you know fresher, a QA engineer that getting into your project and know what is really going on underneath the hood. The second thing is going to be is reduce the performance on some level. If you are calling from the custom keyword level, it's going to be a little bit slower than you calling it using the test case. And I will try to make this clear for you after this part. And another most obviously thing is going to be the class initiative. Uh, what I mean by class initiative is either new keyword if you are familiar with Java and you know the team had to follow the process strictly or the pay object model kind of get messy really soon Be because of all of that uh, disadvantages Catalan gonna help you to recommend this practice so basically pay object model gonna be stored in the test case and object repository level and the keyword is just gonna use for adding the capability only. With this approach, it's gonna actually help you to having the codeless approach, and it's gonna be much more easier to use and with the better a better performance. But you know, there's always a disadvantages, and this one is gonna be your team had to follow this process as strictly as the pace object model common practice out there, because. If you're not doing that, then your project is going to get messy really soon. Okay, so uh, let me elaborate on what I had to tell you. So uh, this is what it looks like uh, if you apply the pace object model using Catalan Studio. So when you're seeing inside the test cases, all the common test script is going to store by using the page. So that, that's really pace object model, right? So all of the common test case like login or some action that you're gonna do on some specific page is gonna store inside the test cases level. And when you want to reuse it, all you need to do is just to drag and drop it. And I'm gonna show you on the demo later. And for the object repository, it's gonna be the same. Then you, you can, but, but it has something more advanced. So if you want to do it with the dynamic object, so you're gonna store it under the dynamic object folder. And if you are using the static object, then you need to store it under the static object folder, but it still applies strictly the pace object model. 
so you can see it here is still based on the page of the project okay so this is my mock project so don't don't worry about the page name okay so but before elaborating into all the thing i i gonna show you how to design the test case uh so based on this flow uh when you create the test case you're gonna need to consider using the common action and if you want to use the common action then you need to create a common test case so that's the reason why we have this level here and for example if there's uh, some missing in under the keyword so you for example the building keyword that's provided by catalog is not enough then you need to implement more of the custom keyword so that's why so there, there's no pay object model under the keyword level anymore but the keyword it just help you to adding more function more capability into the pool of the built-in keyword of catalog studio there's two scenario that i want to mention here uh, the first scenario is kind of using the O approaching of the pay object model. And you can see that it is getting a lot of messing here, right? Uh, because right now you need to store every action on the page. And all of that is going to be represented by a keyword, a function, instead of something that's really simple to see, like you guys seeing here. A test case with a de description that everyone can go into and look and know okay what does mean right uh, and when when even when you want to reuse the test case it's gonna be really hard if you do it under the keyword level right but if you're doing it on this level I gonna show you how to do that so basically if you want to have some test case related to admin page for example i give it a name like this and all i need to do is just to find something in the comment page put it in find something in the admin page put it in and find something on the another thing on the admin page and put it in okay so i can create a test case by this really simple step and it's really either code like approach right okay so that's the meaning for when we want to having like uh, a pay object model using catalog studio all right so and for example if when we look at this level of the test case the the common test case level you can see this one is the built-in keyword of catalog studio right but if you are missing some of the capability from catalog studio you always can go into this keyword and then you create a custom keyword okay and then all you need to do is to go back into this test case and then call the custom keyword okay and you can select from the pool of custom keyword over here it's already ready for you Okay, so that's one is for the practice of using the pay object model for Kalon Studio.